Welcome back. There is a lot going on with college athletes these days. You got games and practice and study and travel and meetings. And in some cases, like Carlin Dupree at North Dakota State, their kids and families and choices and agonizing life changing decisions. Here's Brian Sean with that story. The path to North Dakota State University wasn't an easy one for senior guard Carlin Dupree. The journey has involved overcoming obstacles growing up in the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin tough neighborhoods and tough people. But for Dupree, it was all he knew. Honestly, when you're living it, you just don't really realize it. I really didn't start realizing until I came here, like how different it was. I mean, it's a community full of violence. Fortunately, Dupree was able to avoid distractions, thanks to support from his family and friends. It was a strong network that helped keep him on the right path. I knew if I wanted to get where I wanted to go, I had to do that for not only for myself, but my family. He blossomed in high school, garnering college interest from a number of schools, which included NDSU. His initial reaction wasn't all that positive. When they sent me the interest letter, I actually, like, I tossed it away. I'm like, I don't think I'm going there. It was one of those things, you 17 years old, I was like, I don't think I'm going to move that far from home. After a visit to Fargo, Dupree changed his tune, committing before he left town. The community was not what he expected, a place with friendly people and support like he had never experienced before. Every day waking up in Fargo, compared to Milwaukee, is a good day. Because there'd be days where you don't know if you could make it to the next day, because it just happened like that. One of the reasons why I committed here, I'm just like, atmosphere is just different. Like, it's a good feeling. Like, you don't have to worry. There's just way more depth to him than, than on the court. He just remains so humble. And he's really, again, you go back to you know, where, where he came from, so to speak. He just really never made any excuses. And, and maybe the biggest thing of all, he's been so appreciative of everything along the way. As Carlin acclimated to life in Fargo, he also adjusted to life as a college athlete. An injury slowed his progress his freshman season and playing time was sparse. But on the biggest stage in the NCAA tournament, he made his mark, scoring four of the biggest points in NDSU basketball history against Oklahoma in overtime. It was a wonderful feeling to be Oklahoma in the tournament. Just the atmosphere. It was a time and point in the game where other people were like cheering for us. And like, as a freshman, I'm just like, it's crazy. In his second season, Dupree played a bigger role, helping get the Bison back to the NCAA tournament for a second straight year. But last year as a junior, 17 games into the season, he decided to walk away from the team, leaving his head coach disappointed and the Bison without one of their key contributors. I guess lack of communication with a lot of people, that's what hurt, hurt me. Just days after he left the program, Carlin had an important conversation with his mother that changed his perspective and helped him regain appreciation for the opportunity he was walking away from. She's like, just be thankful for what you do have. Because it's not guaranteed that you're going to have something else. Be, look right in front of you and see what you have. You have a blessing in front of you. So make the best of the opportunity. And if a situation is happening, you should communicate with people and they will help you out. Less than a week after leaving and realizing he made a mistake, Dupree went back to his coach's office asking if he could come back. No matter what you're doing, you know, as a husband, father, employee, employer, you can't come and go. That's not the way it works. And so uh, he wasn't just going to be able to walk back onto it. But it was a very easy decision for me, for his teammates to accept him back, and I'm so glad we did. The hardest part for me was not being around the guys every day. It feels weird. You feel lonely. But when I came back, I just, just felt right, you know? You just felt like this is where I need to be. Not only has Dupree changed on the court in the past year, his priorities away from the team have changed significantly as well. His baby girl, Kaylin, was born in November of 2015, providing a different outlook for his journey in life. Seeing the, the full development of a human's life is a different type of view. It's the, probably the most beautiful thing in the, in the world, just watching somebody grow and you playing a big part in that. He's a tremendous person, that'll never be doubted, and he's gonna do great things on the court. And when the ball stops bouncing, he's gonna be so successful in life. So happy that you know, I've been able to spend the last three years and going into the fourth year with him. He's made me better. And joined by B. Sean and Brian, uh, obviously so much other stuff going on for a lot of these athletes, and uh, for Carlin Dupree, has been through so much already in his young life. When we think about where Carlin Dupree started his life and his career and how he got to North Dakota State, and then when he left the program, didn't play for a month and came back, 
and actually had a career high in points in 22 against IPFW in the Summit League semifinals, a game they were pretty much dead to rights in in the second half and came all the way back to steal a victory against the Mastodons was pretty amazing for uh, Carlin Dupree to play his biggest game and maybe his best career game on that major stage. All right, thank you, Brian Chan. Our thanks to Mike Dom and Carlin Dupree and DJ Skelton. You can find this episode and all the episodes of Midco Sports Magazine on YouTube. This has been Midco Sports Magazine, presented by Shields and Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine.